another day, another option that we have discussed for our New York Yankees here in the 2023 season coming up. Our friend John Morosi puts out the information today that I think all of us probably had an idea about or understanding. I've spoke about this guy quite a bit. That the Yankees are still interested in Jerickson and Profar. Now, he also adds that the Yankees' main target is still Brian Reynolds. And there are teams that are still talking to the Pirates regarding Brian Reynolds. And a lot of those teams are keeping tabs on Jerickson and Profar. But you guys have heard me talk about Jerickson and Profar already. He's a switch hitter, good defending outfielder. And I do believe, I've said this countless times, he is what... We have been asking for as Yankee fans. And what do I mean by that? I mean, but a guy that puts the ball in play. Plays good defense, plays the position well, and he puts the ball in play. And Profar does all of that. And switch hitter, so he gets to that left side of the plate quite a bit. The shift. We have an article potentially coming out in the next couple of days where one of our new writers, Austin, who some of you may be familiar with, Brings us the point that some right-handers may really benefit from the shift also. And he's going to break that down for you guys. It's going to be a really good article. Stay tuned for that one. But let's switch on over real quick to Jerickson Profar and what he did last year. You got a lot of people that really defend Glaber Torres like it's, uh, you know, life or death. And he only had about, what, a point two less war than Glaber Torres? Torres is overall a better player than Jerickson Profar in a sense of power and pop. But Jerickson Profar had arguably one of his better years. 331 on base percentage, 58 RBIs, 82 runs scored. That's what you want to see right there. 15 home runs. Again, the 3.1 war for Jerickson Profar. But here is the thing that you're interested in when it comes to Profar or the Yankees getting anybody in left field. Unless it's Brian Reynolds, this is what you want to look at right here. He doesn't strike out. And again... For this offense, that is desperately needed. We know Brian Cashman, as year-end presser, said that they've recognized this, and it's the reason they went after Andrew Benintendi. Now, of course, we know that story. Benny is not back. He's now yanking in Chicago. But a 15.7% strikeout rate percentage is phenomenal, along with a solid walk percentage. These are all phenomenal numbers. It's really good. And it's a good sign for Jerickson Profar. Also, he's a guy who, have you noticed right here, tends to use the whole field a little more than most guys. A lot of times pulls the ball 30, about 34% of the time, but goes right up the middle about 47% of the time. Those two numbers right there are going to affect him left-handed when he's in the shift. Those, those numbers up the middle... Those numbers pulling the ball hard is going to make a little bit of a difference for a guy like Jerickson Profar. And again, for the New York Yankees, it's either do we stick with Aaron Hicks, which I still feel the Yankees got to figure out a way to get rid of him. I think getting Profar doesn't necessarily mean that that he's getting rid of him, but I'll say this, I think Profar probably gets... Seven, eight, nine million. I don't know if he breaks the 10, but I think he gets five, six, seven, eight, nine around that amount, depending on whatever the years look like. But I do think he gets around that, that amount. That would put the Yankees over the Cohen threshold that they don't want to do. So in reality, you got to believe the Yankees would figure out a way to move somebody. Is it Glaber Torres, who's probably the easiest guy to trade? IKF, who I think is also a very easy guy to trade. Aaron Hicks is a little more tricky, but he makes the most sense of the guy that you actually go ahead and move. Of course, for Profar, so just getting them pulled back up here so we can take a look. Very, very good all over the place. I know some people may sit there and say, well, Pete, what about Oswaldo Cabrera? Look, Oswaldo Cabrera adds a ton of energy. Profar is an energy guy, too. But the thing about Oswaldo Cabrera, guys, is you don't just give guys spots. Let Oswaldo Cabrera do what you were hopeful that he could do, and that is be a Ben Zobris type, where he can really play all over the field. That's his value. We know one thing about Cabrera. He hasn't played the outfield much. He looked fantastic in right field. We know that. 
He did not look good in left field. He didn't. He wasn't a great defender in left field. And that doesn't mean he never will be. Doesn't mean nothing like that. It just simply means that if you go with maybe a little more of a sure thing, something that fits your lineup well, and take a little bit of a chance, you probably should do that. And if the Yankees can't pull off a trade for Brian Reynolds, I think Jerickson Profar is the guy you do go after. I think it makes the most sense. And you guys have heard me say this quite a bit. As you can see by these highlights, the guy does go all over the place. He smacks the ball everywhere. It's what you want to see. It's a good sign and it's a good thing for the Yankees. Hopefully, maybe they would bat him one or two. I think it could make sense for him. He does walk. He takes pitches. He does get on base a little bit. Not as much as a DJ LeMayu, but maybe that one-two pair could be something very good for the Yanks. And again, he's also a guy that is also versatile. He plays all over the place. So you guys let me know in the comments below what you think about the Yankees maybe bringing in Jerks and Profar. You guys know news is kind of scarce right now. There's not much stuff out there. Kind of wandering around in the desert just waiting for something to happen. No real news. We did have some big news yesterday, and that is NYY News TV Day 2. We have over 20 tickets sold on day one, the first release yesterday. Guys, you know what that means. These are limited. These tickets are limited. So I'm just letting you guys know right now, these are a limited ticket this year. It's not that we can do 200, 250. Right now, the set limit is 100. The Yankees have told me we could probably bump it up to about 115, 120 maybe. But I'd recommend getting your tickets as soon as you can, locking them in and us going from there. But guys, comment below. What do you think about Jerickson Profar? He does the things that we've asked for. I mean, got to be fair. We can't always get the superstar as much as I'd want to. He doesn't strike out. He hits from the left side. Switch hitter. Plays a good outfield. Versatile. Decent speed. Probably picks up the stolen bags more this year. Larger bases. Pick off a temp rule. I don't know. I'm just saying. I think it could be a real logical choice and maybe pay big dividends for the Yanks. So, guys, let me know in the comments below what do you think. A special shout-out to my guy, Ra Thompson, who turns 48 years young today. Man, oh, man, does Ra look good for his age. With that being said, guys, we are out. Talk to you again. Very, very soon. Today, today, you